Hey there! Thanks for tuning in. Thank you. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah and all that, all that jazz, all that jazz. Thank you for coming into another edition of Mad Man with a Show. I'm Zane, your host. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for coming aboard. Even your non-subscribers. I hope today is the day I earn your subscription. Thank you you also to those who have subscribed just recently and thanks for those who have been subscribers who have stayed with me day in day out through all the thick and thin situations that we've gone through on this platform and others and we do our best to try to bring you the best programming or at least programming that you you the viewer important that you are that we bring good programming to you that you want to see. And like I said, 2021 it is coming a rebranding and there's some great stuff coming down the pike. You'll see soon. So hoo -hoo, we discuss cancellations left and right. We seeing uh, movies that are get, for 2021 getting pushed over to straight to streaming. Straight to streaming, they'll get some theater release and some streaming release. We've, we've discussed that already. And of course, we've seen other great programming like Adult Swim streams are now gone. They have been let go, shut down, which is a shame. And, you know, live streams have been king. Why would you cancel something that's good? And then this came down the pike also this week, too. You're familiar with the... Disney X XD series DuckTales, which has been rebooted, redone for a new era, which I said, that's always, a lot of reboots are a mistake with the exception of certain things, which is coming down the pike. We will discuss that on a later show. We'll discuss why. But, uh, you know, slowly, you know, you've seen that there have been a bit of a rehash fan base, a new fan base for this particular DuckTales. And there's supposed to be a spin-off coming. Uh, Darkwing Duck is returning as they ha they did, did have an episode. I, I think it already aired um, with the return of Darkwing Duck. Uh, we've seen voices like David Tennant, who's doing Scrooge McDuck. You know, the former Doctor Who alumni. Uh, we've had a, a complete update since this story was printed by Collider and a couple others. And it is confirmed by Disney. Yes, Duck DuckTales is done. It's canceled. It's, you know, and some people say, well, no, it's not canceled. They reached their end. No. Why would you end a series of animation that basically is easier to, easier to produce than something that's a live action that, you know, on Disney XD is going to have a lot of problems because of doing COVID-19. This is the original report. Yesterday, the hashtag... Uh, Renew DuckTales 2017 was trending on Twitter when I chimed in stating that the reboot w wouldn't actually come back after completing the last few episodes of it typically uh, superlated season three. Well, that tweet unexpectedly blew up. So I'm writing to say, yes, DuckTales is done. And to give you the story behind of its lack of renewal. First, DuckTales has been finished for a little while now. Last September, this team was informed that the show was over and beginning to close up shop. Wonderfully, the talented crew has begun working on other shows. For example, Dana Torres, who directed a handful of the very DuckTales episodes, had, has now her own brilliant uh, Disney Channel series, The Owl House, Season 2, coming. As you can see, that basically there are other animations on there. And I know people are upset because there are a few things you should know and probably keep in mind. Just because it's not coming back doesn't mean it's canceled. Eh, yeah, it is. It, should, it may come back as a special. It might come back part of Darkwing Duck. It could have reached its logistical end. This new Dark Tales is clearly br brilliant animated. It's a high watermark for one of the animated revivals and could be inspired by the return of similar 90s centered properties and recent versions of Animaniacs, which Animaniacs is not doing well. And the upcoming Tiny Toons, I expect the same thing with Animaniacs. If, if you haven't watched Animaniacs, they've lost, number one, they've lost their way. Because one thing, they, they've allowed the political rhetoric to completely almost engulf the series. Certain episodes, they, they, they steered away from it, but you could see where they're leaning on that. Before, the series used to just make fun of all politics. Now they're just leaning 
One Direction. The other half is all the characters have been wiped off. Except one episode, one episode that they did, with the exception of Pinky and the Brain, which is just the Animaniacs and Pinky and the Brain. Everybody else has been taken off the show. They have not been included. But like I said, there's one episode which they kind of explain. In a way, it was kind of a funny, but most of the other episodes are not as funny as most people think. So, you know, I'm expecting the same thing to happen to Tiny Toons. But sometimes sometimes things just conclude. And yes, the, the show was expensive and cumbersome. That's where you have to look at it right now. The show was expensive and cumbersome to produce. In chewing that more popular 11-minute format for a full 22 minutes, which probably factored into the decision... But from what I understand, it wasn't like Disney was pulling the series out of the hands of the showrunners. Disney has done this before. Remember when when the season finale of Gravity Falls began to air, when Disney was like, oh, by the way, these were the last few episodes, except for similar announcement before the last batch of Dark, Dark Tales episode aired in 2021. Yeah, one thing about them, they'll hit the 75 episode mark and cancel some of the animation on there. And... It's, it's still a situation of why, why are you going to can't, if you're doing well, why not go continue? There are a lot of other series that continue on. And like I said, with this COVID situation, was it that expensive? And that, and that's what I think w one of the major reasons why this show has been canceled is the cost. They could have gone, especially, I don't know what they were paying David Tennant. And, you know, I love Tennant. He is very, very good. Uh, I love them as Doctor Who, um, and he's done a lot of other stuff, but I think his payroll was high, and a couple of the other voice actors. They could have gone with other voice actors, um, people that would not cost them as much, and also, how are they animating it? The other thing is, were they doing it here? Were they doing it overseas? It's a lot of confusion on that. It was also a linchpin for a corporate-wide incentive to bring back quality animations to a small screen instead of being the new... Uh, show on Disney Channel for or XD, the original afternoon classics like Tailspin, Adventures of Gummy Bears, Chip and Dale, Ra Rescue Rangers, all made it to the 65 episode mark. That that's correct on there, and th they're trying to bring those back, and they brought those back on Disney Plus. You can see some of those back again on there. The other half of this story is that basically originally there was supposed to be a cross off, uh, sort of a crossover. To Epcot Center, they were going to create an Epcot experience with DuckTales. And we still don't know what's going to happen with that IP over there. It says, truly, I have no idea how the effects of the interactive Epcot experience that was planned. In my mind, it's still viable IP with strong t ties to international exploration. So it could be on the docket with, with or without an accompanying TV series. I say, at this moment, I'm circling about no. And I'll tell you why. If they were going to do an international exploration of it, um, right now they've laid off so many people at the Disney parks right now. A good chunk of them from the Epcot that are gone are most of the people from international countries. Uh, you know, Japan, China, um, England, France, uh, Norway, you know. Those people were the people that were running the restaurants, the shows, and stuff like that. When you got there, you had the experience of being in those countries. Now they're mostly gone. I don't know if they brought back some, uh, but I know it's very difficult to get some of them into the country at this point because of all the regulations, COVID-19 regulations uh, for flying in and out of this country and in and out of other countries. Uh, if some of them did stay behind and didn't get um, didn't get uh, deported because basically you know when you're working you ha you're here on a visa if that basically you're not working that basically that visa gets canceled and you have to return back to your country of origin. Now the update on it, uh, which came up just uh, recently, is update Disney has confirmed our reporting that the following statement: the talent of creative team led by Matt Youngerberg and the and Francisco Agnones has delivered an exceptional storytelling with a unique reimagined characters for three seasons of 75 episodes and more than 15 shorts. While the physical production 
is wrapping. It hasn't wrapped, is wrapping. DuckTales continues to be available on Disney channels and Disney Plus around the world, and fans will get an epic season finale in 2021. Yeah, tw- the final season, they haven't aired yet. So that, that's coming. That's coming next year. Uh, how they're going to do that, you know, is it going to be Disney XD? Is it going to go straight to Disney Plus? We don't know. But as far as this, and I'm telling you, pe- people keep making excuses. Well, they haven't canceled it. They reached the ten- a No, they've canceled it. If, they, if, they say, if they're talking finance, if they're talking this, that, the other thing, problem with the actors, or is there any show. And I had the same thing with the CW Arrowverse. They said, well, it's being racist because this is being canceled, because Black Lightning got canceled. No, it got canceled because basically of its ratings. I've seen tons of videos of people saying, well, no, it, this particular show hasn't been canceled. This particular, it has been canceled. I've worked in production staffs. When they cancel your show and they, they start weeding out all the big payroll and then you're down to, you know, just secondary staff and then finally they let the staff go, the show, the show is gone. It's not coming back. You know, when you get a finale, when they said, hey, listen, Supernatural, we're tired. We've gone 15 seasons, 15 years, and we're ready to, we're ready to hang it up. That is a finale. The Expanse going to season six, as far as the season six will be finale, is a cancellation. Because there's more stories that could be done beyond that. Same thing with DuckTales. They could have gone beyond this. They have Darkwing Duck coming. Sometime probably next year. They've already had that short. I believe they had that short with him in it, that episode. They are coming soon. Right now, all these companies, what is it, a five, six billion dollar loss, three and a half billion of it is because of theme parks at, Di- at Disney right now. They're having those issues, those financial issues. Theaters are not open. They're probably going to end up putting Black Widow on Disney Plus, just like Mulan, at a pr- at additional price, like that thirty dollar mark. If it's thirty dollars, don't know yet. We'll know after the tenth of December, after that investor meeting. We'll know what's going on. We already see WB going to be dumping their twenty twenty movie lineup on to streaming for thirty days, just like Wonder Woman nineteen eighty four. They're doing this. So when you sit there and you tell me, well, they've reached their, 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 their threshold of 75 episodes. No. Animation is inexpensive. It can, continue, it can continue on. If it costs them a lot of money, okay then. That's where, they, that's where basically they're looking at. They're looking at finances. If it's costing a lot, they're going to cancel it. It's the same thing that's happening over at Cartoon Network and Adult Swim and Toonami. They're, they're big shows. Venture Brothers canceled out. They've just canceled out the live streams. Why? Stupidity, because that's a moneymaker right there. They're canceling big shows, big animation for cheaper animation. We've seen um, Comedy Central cancel Tosh.0. Drunk History, top shows, replacing them with reboots of Beavis and Butthead, the Daria spinoff, and Clone High and others. Because why? Because it's cheap to make. COVID-19 has, de- it has done some major damage to the Hollywood industry. And it, you could say, well, that's caused all the problems. No. Hollywood has been burning. They are literally in ashes right now. COVID-19. Yes, that's right, Mr. J. COVID-19 has just put the final lid on the coffin for it. Because this is what is happening. You're seeing a complete change of programming across the board. We've seen shows canceled. If Basically, if either they can't cut it or, you know, loss in ratings, or if they have issues with the show, or if they're fine, if it's financially strapped, as far as they make that basically it costs them a lot of money. Or if they're small enough that they would not be noticed that it's canceled out. And that's what they're thinking on, on Adult Swim right now. 
the, the shows are going to get canceled. The movies are going to get canceled. There's already been a lot of a bunch of movies that have been shelved right now temporarily. We're starting to hear that. We're seeing stuff get pushed all the way to the end of 2021. Possibly you're going to be seeing stuff get pushed to 2022. I'm still asking Disney, why are you still supporting several Avatar sequels? I don't think they're going to make any money. Unless the movie theaters are going to fully reopen again. Fully reopen by April, May. We're going to call 2021 as a loss already. Even before we get out of the gate. We're still in 2020. 2021. You know, it's just around. It's only a couple weeks away. We're going to be calling a loss. We are going to be calling it a loss. Now, did I enjoy the DuckTales? Eh, I saw an episode here there. I was okay with it. There were some issues I had. But, hey, this is coming from a fan who loved the original. And I will always watch the original DuckTales. I had so much fun with that. I loved the, the song on it. You know, it was always fun to watch. The side, the side shows and stuff like that. And I continue to watch it every once in a while. So, comment below. Tell me, how do you feel about this? Are you upset that they're gone? Uh, are you taking that they are canceled? They are canceled. Or do you believe eh, it's something else? You know, let me know in the comments below. Once again, thank you for those who subscribe. I've hoped I've earned your subscription today for those who haven't subscribed yet and going to subscribe today. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for liking. Hit that notification bell. Because it's very important. You want to know when we, we come with another episode. But most of the time we're here. Man Man with the Show is here every Wednesday and Friday. We're planning another day. We haven't decided which day yet. But there's going to be a third day added. Brunch with the Madman every Monday and Saturday noon Eastern. Coffee and chat and fun. And a lot more coming. A lot more coming. Stay tuned to the end for the promo code for teespring.com. Uh, great holiday, you know, you want that extra holiday gift. You know, you need that gift that, you know, or you might want something for yourself to show off that you love this, this programming here on q to cast TV. Thank you for tuning in again. We'll see you on the rebound. We'll see you on the weekend. Don't forget to catch uh, Friday Night Tights somewhere around 5, 6 o'clock Eastern on the neurotic channel uh it is a great show every week great guests uh i think they have a great guest coming back in this week uh, that they were on before i mean they they had on another person on there and i can't say his name because i probably <laughs> the show will probably be put in the background if i say the name but that person was great you could see it on the neurotic channel and the neurotic daily uh funny as hell and then, of course, the Perry Chan videos. Excellent. So we'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much. Bye-bye now. With the holidays well underway, you might be looking for that special gift. Check out our merch store at teespring.com, where we have the new winter gear out. From the Madman Cafe to Madman with the Show. Shirts, hoodies, mugs, and even pillows. Starting on December 2nd, use the promo code Cafe to get an additional 15% off till December 24th. All proceeds go to help this channel. That's teespring.com slash shop Q to cast.